how do we assign some sort of values to words, right? So now we have all these words organized in, in, in this format, right? One word is a token, right? But we have to assign some, some sort of values, right? Some sort of like numerical values to it, right? So, so let's talk about count vectorizer, word vectorization. So count vectorization is, is called vag of word. So meaning like you want to count the frequency, right? The frequency of the words appear in your document, in your sentence. Remember, uh, so this is our vocabulary, right? We have, you know, a unique set of uh, words, right, in our vocabulary. And then remember the first uh, list, right? So we got to the list of lists, right? After going through all these steps up to lemmatization, we got a list of lists, right? So now we can actually convert this list of lists, this list into numerical lists as opposed to token, uh, a list with tokens, right? So you can see Jeff in our vocabulary is actually is uh, is third one, right? So that means in our, the way that we convert this is whenever we see Jeff, we want to add one value to the third position, right? So as you can see that if you have huge vocabulary, right, like lots of lots of words in your vocabulary set, then you're going to have a huge vector, right? You're going to have maybe, you know, thousand, a vector with a uh, thousand or two thousand elements. But in this case, we only have uh, 10, right? 10 words in our vocabulary. So we can actually say Jeff, whenever we see Jeff, it's going to be third, right? The third position will have one addition, right? We can actually do uh, counting of the frequency, right? Of the words. So still is actually um, the last one. So therefore you can see that we're adding one to this, right? And octopus is actually the fourth one. We're adding it in here, right? So and then sandwich is actually, how many is that? It's, like, it's this one, right? So this is like the concept of vector words. You can actually see if a word appear twice, like sandwich, sandwich, then you have two, right? So it's a very simple bag of words. Think of you have a bag, you're just adding words to or tokens to your bags and then do the counts of that. So this is very straightforward. This is how you can numeritize your vector of tokens, right? From here to here, right? So, so that's one way of vectorizing things. And the other way is, uh, it's called TFIDF. So TFIDF has two terms, right? With two components. The first one is called term frequency. So that's TF, right? And the IDF is uh, inverse frequency, right? IDF is inverse document frequency IDF, right? So, um, you know, TF, the definition is pretty straightforward, right? It's, it's the number of times word appears in a document over total number of words in a document, right? It's just a frequency, right? So you can actually see uh, TF, you can actually get something like this, right? So Jeff appears once in this document, but it appears four times in the entire corpus, right? Uh, um, so it appears uh, in every, right? So, so therefore you can actually see it's one over four, right? So, okay, great. So then, um, yeah, and then document frequency is the number of documents containing word over total number of documents. Right, we can actually do the same thing. Uh, obviously, these words all appear, right, like uh, once, right? So number of document containing the word over number, uh, total number of documents. So you have three documents, right? And then number of document containing drop is actually one. And then number of document containing help is one and so forth. So inverse uh, document frequency is actually combining the two, right? So the total number of documents over total number of documents containing the word and taking a log of it, right? So and then after that, T, uh, TF IDF is pretty much TF times. You're taking a dot product of TF uh, and IDF to get to this number. So after this vectorization, we can actually see the first list, right? That's coming from the first document will be converted to this vector, right? Uh, 0, 0, 0, 0.275. So compared to what we had for like from count vectorizer, right? Notice that this number is actually a lot smaller, right? Then the one that we had, right, from count factorizer. So, I mean, this is to really um, see, I guess the intuition here is really that when you see a word that contains a lot of meanings, right, then you want to definitely assign uh, like a very unique word that you'll see, for instance, like homogeneous, right? That doesn't appear too often, but it has a lot of meaning to it. So you want to assign more uh, higher weights, right, to that word than, uh, for instance, um, you, right, a word you or a word uh, cup, right? So.